So the love song for the guys get saved. We're living still in the South Laguna. We start writing this new music, right? We're reading the Bible and pff, all these new songs come up, like you know, uh, front seat, back seat, and you know, you know, feel the love already existed. Changes all these great songs. And one day we say, you know, well, I don't know what we're going to do with this music, but I wonder if that pastor would let us come and sing at his church. So we go down to the church. We ask for Chuck Smith's secretary. It's in the middle of the day. And he comes out and, and we say, we're a rock band. So you guys weren't saved now. You, well, some well, of, I, I'm was. not sure I was actually at that point. Freddie was. Freddie was. Jay was. Jay was. Was Chuck? Chuck, I think, was at this point. It all happened pretty quick. Within six weeks, we yeah. were all in the, so in you the fold. So you're a rock band. You want to play at the so church? So we, yeah, we, we look all scruffy, right? Yeah. And we're a rock band. We've been coming to your church for a few weeks now, and God's given us this new song, so we're kind of wondering if we could play them. And <laughs> inside, you would never know anything was going on, but Chuck Smith is going like, there's no way. <laughs> They're coming out of the drug culture, been a Christian for six weeks. What kind of songs could they possibly have? Yeah. And he very wisely caught himself and he said, would you mind if I heard a couple? And so we went to the van, got a couple guitars, played Welcome Back. He started crying. Oh, my goodness. The Holy Spirit went, Poof. and he said, I've never been anywhere, but, you know, I, I'm wondering, can you guys come tonight? We have a youth group tonight. Can you come tonight? And we said, uh, we think so. Our guitar players uh, doing weekends in Theo Lacey jail for a drug bust, but he gets out about four o'clock. I think we can make it. <laughs> can you imagine a pastor <laughs> no, going like, oh, yeah, let's, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. but he, he realized that God had really done a change, radical change. And unbeknownst to me, the church had a vision that God was going to do something new. So they had no piano, no organ. Worship was like Chuck Smith sitting on a stool singing camp songs. <laughs> and so we went from all these hippies doing in a, the God of Eden and Jimi Hendrix to singing, you know, happy, 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 happy are the people whose God is the Lord. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of people. And that was like a wave coming in. And before too long, Expo 72 was happening. And we found out that this is not just going on in our backyard. This yeah, is no. going on everywhere across the United States. So it was a, probably most of the leaders in the church that are approaching retirement age were touched by the Jesus movement. People got radically saved. Yeah. And here's the beauty of it. We weren't theologians. We didn't really know the Bible much right. yet. But I love this, what Chuck Gerard says. All we knew was we were blind, now we see. Yeah. And our driving force was we want to tell our generation in every way we can, especially through our music, that Christ is the answer we've all been looking for. Yeah. That was it. Fantastic. So if you asked us to come and play in Juvenile Hall, we'd be there. If the yeah. phone rang and somebody asked us to go, we said yes. 